In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import a budget spreadsheet from Microsoft Excel into Power BI so that you can incorporate it into your overall model for your accounting data and track your progress against budget as the year progresses. In the spreadsheet I've prepared, I've got 14 columns. I've got two columns referencing the sales nominal code that I want to track. I have a nominal record ID, which matches the ID of my nominal records table in my Power BI model. I've got the number and name of the account, and then I've got 12 months and their budgets that I, that I want to track. Strictly speaking, I don't need the nominal record ID and the account name and number, but I've incorporated both just for ease of use within the process. So that's my budget spreadsheet. As a background, what I've done is I've loaded this up onto Microsoft OneDrive. And what this means is that as the year progresses, if I want to make edits or changes to any of these budgets, I can simply type in the new values. And if I'm using Microsoft Power BI Pro, my model will automatically pick up these changes without me having to do anything. So that makes it really nice to use and nice to integrate, in, integrate into a more agile uh, budgeting process. If we flip over now to uh, Microsoft Power BI, what I need to do is import this spreadsheet. So if I go to Home, Get Data, and choose Excel as an option, I'm presented with my budget spreadsheet as an option. And I select my budgets tab. And I choose load. That's loaded my budget spreadsheet into my model. Now let's take a look at it. So if I choose my data view and scroll down to my budget spreadsheet, the first thing I, I can see is the data is in there, but it's not in the form that I need it uh, within my model. Really what I want is one column for my nominal record ID, another column for my account number and name. In fact, I don't actually need that anymore. And then I need a column for a single column for the date and a single column for the value. I also want this first row here to form my header within the table. What I can do is if, if I click on the right ellipse next to my budget table, I'm presented with an option to edit query. And this will open up Power BI Query Editor, which will allow me to do a number of transformations on the data as it's loaded. And once I've done this, and saved it, saved it, it'll automatically be applied as I refresh the data and edit the budgets as the year progresses. So the first thing I can see is I'm presented with an option to use the first row as headers, so I will do that. The second thing, as I mentioned, is I don't actually need both these columns, the PL account and the nominal record ID, so I can get rid of this. The next thing I want to do is I want to unpivot these dates columns. So I have, end up with a single dates column. So instead of a table that is 12 columns across plus my record ID and six rows, I want 72 rows and three columns, my ID, my date, and my amount. So if I select all of, all of the dates columns and go to my transform option, I'm presented with an option to unpivot columns. So now we're getting close. I have my nominal record ID. I have my attribute, let's call it, and that's my date, let's rename it, and I have my budget value, let's rename that budget. Now, there's still a couple of things I need to do. I can see my dates column is actually in text format, so I want to change that. So if I right click on the column, I can change the type to date. And you can see it's automatically picked up the last day of every month. Now, actually, what I want in my model is the first day of every month because I'm tracking sales. And if I want to track actual versus budget this month to date, during the month, I wanted to have already picked up the budget. So I want to have the date set here as the first day of the month. So if I right click on the column again and go to transform, I end up with an option to choose the start of the month. And that's changed my dates table accordingly. The other thing I notice is that my nominal record ID is in number format. And now I happen to know that in my model, within my nominal records table, um, that nominal record ID is in text format. So I need to transform that or change the type rather. So I change type to text. And that's my data transformation done for my spreadsheet. Now, 
what I can do is save this. And what it means is that all the steps that I've, I've applied in this transformation process will automatically be applied anytime I reload that spreadsheet. And if I've popped it up onto OneDrive, as I edit that, if I'm, if I'm using Power BI Pro, those changes will automatically come through into my Power BI model. So here I have my transformed data. And for completeness, I just want to change the format of that date. So if I select the date field, I don't need to do this. It's just for consistency with what I've done elsewhere in the model. I'll change that into the shortened format. So that's my data in the table. As, sorry, that's my table within the model. What I haven't done is set up the relationships between this table and the rest of my model. And there are two relationships I want. One is I want the relationship between this nominal record ID and my chart of accounts, my nominal records that I have in my nominal records table. And I want a relationship between the dates here and my dates table. By including this relationship on the dates table, it means that I can plot on the same graph my actual versus budget against months. So if I go to Manage Relationships, and I scroll down, I see actually that Power BI has intelligently automatically recognized this relationship between my budget table and my normal records table, so I don't need to do that. And I can create the new relationship I want with my dates table as well. So I'm going from my budget date to my BI dates date and select OK and close. That'll save these new new relationships. And just to show that that works, let's bring up a sample visualization. So I'm going to do a clustered column chart. I just want to show sales versus budget year to date. So if I go to my model, I have a measure here that I've created called sales. And let's now put my budget. And all I need to pop in now is the date. And so I use the month as the axis. What I can see is that I've got future dates, what look like future dates in there. Actually, what I also need to do is to add a filter just to say, I only want to look at this year. So if I select this year as true, there I have my sales and budget year to date by month based on my budget spreadsheet that I've just imported into Power BI. And as I said, if I pop that budget spreadsheet up onto OneDrive, and if I publish this report up into Power BI Web, Power BI Pro, then any changes I make to the budget spreadsheet will automatically be reflected within my model.